In this video, we're going to see how to solve a practice problem for applications E9 using the TI-84 graphing calculator. So we're given a data set, and we want to get the confidence interval from that. So you're going to want to hit the STAT button, and then we want to edit the data table. So hit Enter for Edit. And let's just store the data under L1. So we have 98.9, enter 99.1, enter 98, enter 98.8, enter 98.6, and 96.6, .6, and 97. And you can see that we do have seven numbers in there. Okay. So numbers are now stored in there. Let's uh, exit out of this second mode to quit. All right. And now we want to get a confidence interval for that data. So we'll go to stat and then go over to tests and we're doing a confidence interval for the mean, and we are not told the population standard deviation. So that means we want to do a t-test. And so we just go, oh, sorry, a t-interval. <laughs> We're doing a confidence interval for the mean, and we don't know the population standard deviation, so we'll do a t-interval, right, using the t-distribution. the option to use the data that's already stored or use summary statistics since we have the set of data we'll leave that on data the data is stored in L1 if you stored it in a different column you'd want to put in the name of that column uh, leave frequency at 1 that's if you have multiple numbers you can identify what the frequencies are the confidence level does need to be specified as a decimal or we're told it's 99% so as a decimal, that would be 0.99. And then we should be able to calculate the confidence interval from that. Now it says to put these accurate to two decimal places. So let's try that 96.76 and 99.53. Right, in parentheses, separated by a comma. And we'll hit submit. And we got it right. I don't think putting in that third decimal place is going to get it marked wrong, but it uh, does appear to work just putting in two decimal places.